One Piece, chapter 1095. Let's get straight into it. All right, faggots. So the chapter opens up with Saturn ordering all Marines beneath the ranks of Rear and Vice Admiral to evacuate. Saturn claims that if he did not wish to be stabbed, he would have dodged it. He right after then, like, emits some type of aura from his eyes and it, like, shocks uh, Bonnie, throws her out of his chest, and he grabs her with his hand, and then he removes the sword from his chest. Saturn shames Kizaru for a slow performance in executing his order. Kizaru then apologizes. Saturn attempts to stomp Luffy's unconscious body from his Gear 5 After Effects, where he looks all old and shit, but Frankie punches Luffy out of the way. The coast of the island is blockaded by the army. You see all the ships surrounding the island. We then see that Vegapunk, Bonnie, Sanji, Frankie are unable to move due to Saturn's mysterious powers. Saturn tells Bonnie that Kuma is a descendant of the people who committed a grave sin against the world, a survivor of the now extinct Buccaneer race. We go to a flashback where we see Bonnie reminiscing on Kuma telling her about his inspiration for Nika and that he wanted to be a hero who liberates people just like Nika. Saturn raises Bonnie in the air and tells the troops to shoot her in the head. We then go to a different flashback. 47 years ago in the South Blue Kingdom of Sorbet, Kuma was born. His information about his blood test was leaked to the world government agent at the hospital, which uh, showed that he was a buccaneer. So Kuma and his father, his mother, were captured and became slaves in Mary Joyce due to their buccaneer strength. After the death of Kuma's mother, his father informed him about the legendary Nika and a Tenrubito storms in and shoots the father in the head for making too much noise right in front of Kuma. We now go 38 years back, so at this point, uh, Kuma should be nine years old as a slave and the world government annexed God Valley as it has an abundance of natural resources and so it can be used for the traditional human hunt that they do every three years. The king of God Valley was killed by Saint Figurlin Garling immediately once they stepped foot on the island. Kuma attempted to escape the island but failed and news spread all throughout and two other slaves Ivankov and Guinea appear and Ivankov asks Kuma if he wants to live. And that's where the chapter ends. I suppose the next chapter we're gonna get a continuation of this flashback because we gotta know how Ivankov, Kuma, uh, Guinea, they end up escaping and uh, joining the Revolutionary Army. Bye.